Hey guys, hope you're all well. Sorry I haven't been active recently. I've uh, just um, yeah, been, been on my leg for for about a week now. Can't even see my eyes, there we go, that's a bit better. Yeah, I've been on my leg for a week now and uh, yeah, struggled to be honest, but but it's, it, it's not, not, I wouldn't say fault of my fishing, well, part of it probably would be, but that's my own stubbornness. But yeah, um, the, on Wednesday, obviously, as you know, everyone could come down the lakes and, and start fishing again. So I managed to get all my gear down here, courtesy of my sister, uh, loading her car up and then me biking down to the lake um, to, to get my stuff. And uh, yeah, I jumped in a swim where I thought I thought all these carp would be and uh, unfortunately the wind was blowing the opposite direction. Now looking at the weather report, it was saying that come Saturday uh, to Sunday morning, uh, the wind was due to swing round to southwest. So I spent pretty much most of that week from Wednesday to to I'd say I'd say to Friday sorting out a spot and making sure that everything was going to be good with raking out the weed and and getting everything perfect and, and just waiting and waiting and not seeing any fish at all on that on that side and yeah it started to to do me head in a bit I mean it was just just deep enough as well for the swans to get their heads down on the baits and stuff so so they got their heads down on that and which I weren't bothered because I knew the fish weren't weren't there I knew the fish were gonna arrive but I knew at the time the fish the fish weren't there so the swans were helping me get my spots all sorted and, and cleared to be honest so yeah I, I stayed in that peg from Wednesday to um, obviously that Sunday Sunday passed and then we moved into Monday and Monday passed and then then yesterday came Tuesday and and the wind still hadn't still hadn't swung round uh, in, in towards me which which as I said I, I know the wind is going to change but I just I just couldn't couldn't do it I had to pack my gear up and then move swims so I moved swims uh, about half eight Tuesday evening and um, yeah on the other side of the lake and <laughs> to be fair the wind did swing round southwest um, this morning and and blow into my area and I, I was a little bit downhearted but then as soon as this evening came it swam back round and started blowing um, to the east again which 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 made me smile and chuckle but uh, last night um, I did manage to get this little beauty though uh, this lovely uh, six pound six pound twelve female Tench as black as your hat, absolutely beautiful, and what a lovely specimen! So, yeah, have a look at that, absolutely amazing. And so, we came on to uh, today, and uh, yeah, last night for me now this week. Um, I haven't done much pictures really, or, or much posting on, on Instagram or Facebook. You know, I've, I've just kept myself to myself. Wanted to do a bit of fishing for myself, um, but yeah, it's uh, two weeks now since. Well, it'll be two weeks this Sunday. That will be since the fish have spawned, and um, yeah, hopefully I can get a fish or two this evening. Um, I've been out and put quite a bit of bait out as well, and got my rods out about six o'clock this evening. Um, ready for the evening and uh, a couple of liners 45 well yeah 45 minutes after that really on the on the on the right hand rod so uh, three rods sitting all in the same spot and it it looks good to be honest for, for the bite it really does and now I'm just uh, put all my eggs into one basket this evening and just hoping something's gonna happen and uh, 
yeah, hopefully no fish. So next time you probably see me, um, I'll probably have a massive Cheshire cat smile on my face. Something like that. <laughs> that didn't terrify it. Um, yeah, to report. And uh, yeah, we'll just see what happens. I'm coming off tomorrow evening. Uh, gonna go home and see the missus uh, for about a week. And then I'll come back down in another seven or eight days. Just, just see what happens, you know. But yeah, got to order some more bait from Nutri Baits and get them all sorted. Uh, get the pellets ready, get the park ready. And yeah, just, just get my rigs all prepped and ready again for for stage two of uh, my campaign this, this summer. So we'll see what happens. All we're doing at the moment is uh, it's been furloughed at the moment. So uh, I hope everyone is staying safe and staying well. And if you're at work, thank you guys. And if you're not, please look after yourselves. And if you're at out fishing please please do what's right you know abide by the rules um, and stay distance from people and make sure you look after yourself and stay clean uh, I'll probably see you in the morning with an update um, I don't know whether it'll be with a fish or not but yeah I'm just waffling on now but yeah I'll see you in the morning guys uh, take care speak soon morning all that real well uh, not much to report really um, fish moving around slowly today just starting to rain right now <laughs> as I started this video um, got to pack my gear up as well uh, coming off at 3 o'clock today um, but yeah it wasn't supposed to rain till early hours of the morning so sugar uh, hate packing up in the wet Especially the bivvy, that's annoying. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, nothing to report apart from uh, a couple of liners. Well, what I thought were liners last night turned out to be a big, fat, dirty slab on the end of my right rod uh, this morning. Uh, yeah, just sat there in the weed. Um, yeah, 10 pound, 10 pound bream, like, you know, female, so. Uh, yeah, she, be, she, she was solid. Um, she's got a liner there. You see the cup? Just... Stick my left rod. Right it's starting to... Look like it's starting to move back. Back this side of the wind, but... You know, we can't be too... Too careful now. But yeah, as I say, I'm here till three, and I've got... Um, Pack my gear up. Um, I'm waiting for Ben to come and pick pick my stuff up for us, and then I've got a bike home. So I really hope it don't rain because that'll be that will be annoying. Um, yeah, so go home. Ah, interesting. That was my right right again. I just put it out as well. So yeah, hopefully that's a couple of liners on my right rod. Um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, lovely, absolutely lovely. No carp still. Um, I think a couple of lads, they had a couple and lost a couple last night as well. Uh, over in the far bank. Wind's just been so unpredictable this week. Like, weatherman, who needs a weatherman, just, just guess, you know, because that's what's been happening. Absolutely. Southwest, southwest, no, northwest, northeast, southeast, not southwest. And all week it's been saying do that, all week. Early hours of the morning, changing to southwest. Yeah, it changes for five minutes, and then goes back again. I don't know. If if everyone was hauling, you know, and catching loads, I'll be I'll be second guessing myself. But us guys that have fished this bank, you know, um, 
Luckily we haven't caught a single car bike. We've had tench and obviously the bream, but, but yeah, the, Sean said he saw uh, the car move into the uh, margins at half six this morning. So, overcast today, it looks good for a bite. I'm gonna leave two of my rods on the spot. And as I say, the one that had the bream on, I've just flicked that over to my right, uh, where I've seen the car patrolling uh, the last couple of days. So hopefully, she'll drop down on that. But, but for now, yeah, nothing else to report. So, cheers guys, I'll speak to you soon. Massive chunk, but what an absolute beautiful common she is. And I waited nearly seven days for this fish. And uh, yeah, saves a blank anyway, but yeah, what an absolute stunner. Absolutely stunning. And a bed of chili crab with a white spice. Pepper. 